Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, okay, to the YouTube channel. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. Whatever your enemies have stolen from you, off of your energy without your permission, is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, and so shall it be. Judgment is final. Our angel number and message of the day is 19, which sums down to 10. And it, it, it is the completion of a cycle, a chapter. Okay. It says independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big, big risks to achieve the life you desire. I am a pioneer. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. We have a queen of pentacles that may be having some type of brand new beginning or you were meant to have some type of brand new beginning in life. And someone may have caused some type of stagnation or someone said something or tried to say something to cause you some type of stagnation. They want people to see you as someone that is quite a bit of a wild car, unstable and things like that. So this is basically someone projecting their energy onto you because they want to be picked or chosen over you when it comes to some type of opportunity whether whether this is in work whether this is in love collaboration whatever this is someone is basically speaking and cause and what they are saying they are using to cause some type of stagnation blockage interference between you and someone they want you to be seen as someone that is wild loose unhinged an unstable character, someone that's very impulsive and things like that. Uh, you may have someone that wants to even come towards you to pick some type of battle with you. You may not know this person. You may know them, but not extensively, not on a personal level. But someone is absolutely determined to be your replacement or to be seen as the better option thing than you. Someone is going through a tower or whatever action they are about to take is going to lead to some type of tower for them because it is absolutely something really ridiculous and stupid. Someone is just going to be trying to cause more illusion. Someone has been causing illusion for a long time, trying to cause interference and some type of stagnation when it comes to two people getting together or with you just receiving the, receiving some type of opportunity from someone that's interested in you or a company that is interested in you. This is your energy. This is your natural energy. But someone is painting you out to be like a dizzy bell, someone that's loose with their body. <laughs> this is you, darling. But someone is telling uh, another energy or a group of people that you are wild. You uh, maybe sleep around. Maybe you pick fights and things like that. So basically everything this person is, is what they are projecting onto you. Someone could be speaking the truth in the situation because they are just kind of tired. Something has been going on for a little bit too long. So you have people behind the scenes that are tired yet. You have a, a specific character and this could be a feminine energy. Yeah, people are walking away, but there is a specific energy. It could be feminine, could be masculine, taking on whatever energy that is. Um, they are still determined to cause some type of blockages, right? A blockage between you and someone working together. You may have been destined or you were supposed to receive some type of new opportunity and someone got in there and caused some type of interference to cause you a loss this person is about to be going through some type of loss or they are going to or they are going through a loss right now they may be losing connections with people maybe people don't want to be associated with this person anymore because they see them as a nutcase right uh someone plays too many games Someone is just really impulsive and things like that. Someone is really, I'm telling you, they're very toxic and impulsive. They don't think long enough before they take action. They say, oh, should I lie? Should I not lie? I'm going to lie. And then they take action. Um, someone has been doing something. They take action and it leads to disappointment. Someone has been doing something for so long. Uh, maybe people didn't catch on earlier, but they are catching on now. Okay. 
Um, so the fact that people are catching on to what this person is doing or who this person really is, is causing some type of problem with them. This woman could have been working with a masculine energy in the past. Um, before, maybe he's not working with her anymore. He has separated himself from her. This could have been like a love interest of hers. Or maybe she was just interested in him and he was not interested in, in her. There's some, some type of dynamic going on between these two. Now, this will be you, Queen of Pentacles Collective. You're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. And this will be the person that's going up against you and wants to be seen as you. You can see the drastic difference between these two women. You are very calm, very collect, business savvy, focused on the things that matter to you and the things that matter in life. You're not paying attention to anyone, right? You have your fist focused on your pentacles. Look at here. Madame in the reverse here is looking at you. She's facing this way. So someone is talking to you. Someone is watching you. Someone may be even trying to uh, see how much money you have, your values, like someone wants to be you so they're very much involved in your daily routine and in ways that you may not be aware of so this is someone that may be watching you on social media keeping track of you through third parties like someone is just very reckless and just insecure and i don't think they understand how they come across and there's a masculine that's kind of separating himself from this woman and seeing her for exactly who she is and it's kind of eerie to him he may be a little bit disgusted by how she carries herself i'm telling you this is you collective very wholesome down to earth the birds love you nature loves you but you're a class act okay and you're very gen genuine you're focused on the things that matter to you they don't want you moving forward with your life they're trying to block the truth block your victory if you have some type of success that you're supposed to receive or your business maybe was supposed to take off they are doing things behind the scenes to block your forward movement and they're working with other energies behind the scenes not just not just uh, uh she's not doing it by herself there are other people working with her you may have a king of cups that's very stern very uh not like stern in a good way but he's very much set on blocking you because he's being paid behind the scenes you have a king of swords that's, that may be being paid behind the scenes like they're basically doing something for money they don't find any fulfillment in it but because they signed some type of contract or made some type of agreement with someone and accept their bribery they are committed to something so they're they kind of have to keep doing it. They may be trying to separate themselves from this situation. Maybe someone in here is even choosing to advocate for you and say, I don't want to do that to her or him anymore. They are very genuine. Uh, they don't have any ulterior motives. I think it's better to work with this person and to be working against them. Something of that nature is going on, but there is an unhinged creature behind the scenes that is just very much committed. I think this more so has to do with the fact that she sees maybe someone as like a cash cushion, like a source of income for her. This is how she secures her bag. So she does not genuinely care about whoever this is. All she knows is he or she has money. I'm telling you, he or she has money and that's going to benefit her. She's going to be set in life. So she does not want to have to put in the amount of work that she needs to so that she can be able to thrive independently. You are someone that's self-sufficient. And I think it goes back to this card here. Self-sufficiency is something that's very important to the king, queen of pentacles, right? So they will take time to focus on their home front, their business, their finances. It doesn't matter how long it takes them to get to their destination. As far as success and fulfillment, they're going to keep putting in their effort, right? So that lets me, until they achieve their independence or their security, their financial security. So that lets me know that behind the scenes, you have energies that are interfering with your livelihood, with you uh, arriving at some type of destination as far as your income and things like that. They don't want you to be seen as independent, but that's exactly where you are. So you have people that are taking quite drastic measures and things like that, impulsive actions, so as to block you from moving forward but what's really happening is that they're blocking your own forward movement someone may want to communicate with you about some type of offer abundance but people are blocking that and while they're blocking your forward movement they are also blocking their own forward movement so it's like they take from you and the universe takes from them they take from you and the universe takes from them but what the universe is taking from them is a little bit more grand and bigger than what you are losing 
Something they are doing is really just meant for your growth. This is an experience that may be hard for you to go through, but once you make it through it, I'm telling you, you're going to come out wiser. You're going to come out stronger, um, a little bit more assertive of yourself, sure of yourself. You're going to be very much powerful when you come out because you will have a higher understanding of not just yourself, but everyone around you. You'll be able to read people at a glimpse, right? Without even second thought, right? And this is something also that's going to enable you, this experience you're going through is going to enable you to see life from a different perspective, a broader uh, perspective. It's also going to help you get rid of that limited mindset that you may have as far as how you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to make money, who you are, who you're supposed to be around, things like that. Your, your horizon is about to be broadened for you. So this uh, experience you're going through is something that's absolutely essential for you. It is going to wisen you up in ways that you could have never imagined. So in a way, your enemies are really helping you. Someone may be taking some type of drastic action, I think either to maybe try to steal something destroy something for you it's not going to work it's something really foolish that she's going to do that's going to expose her in the worst way possible and this is going to be the final move that she makes that's just going to make like seal it in for him like oh my gosh i don't want nothing to do with you i don't want to be associated with you and it's going to lead to someone because yeah she's going to be seen for the clown that she is it's going to lead to someone that definitely making a decision to just kind of move on with your life and separate themselves from this woman like you can just see the difference right see the chaos around this woman right you have the ten of swords you have the two of swords the knight of swords that's too many swords around one person so this is someone that's mentally unstable unhinged emotionally unstable someone is very manipulative this is how they get into people's energy by manipulating people especially masculines if they think that you have money uh, this is how they come in through manipulation to get a hold of you once they get a hold of you they don't they don't tend to let go right Someone may have gotten married because they thought this was going to be a abundant relationship as far as being able to use this masculine for his money. Apparently, it didn't go that way. He does not have a lot of money. Or if he has a lot of money, he does not want to be with her. He does not want to build with her. He doesn't see her as a counterpart, as an equal. He sees her as a leech, and that's really all she is. And I don't think women like these mind being called a leech because they know what they are. I'm telling you, she has nothing to offer. She does not bring anything to the table but chaos. All she knows how to do is manipulate and steal, destroy and steal. This is someone that will manipulate and manipulate and manipulate. I'm telling you, she plays a lot of mind games. This is someone that's stuck in her head, but she knows how to manipulate the energies around her so she can keep them stuck in their head. This is an old form of magic that people use to manipulate you, deceive you, and things like that. So she may know some type of uh, uh, equation, a formula on how to handle this masculine, and it's been working. This is why she's probably possibly been able to hold on to him for quite a while but that formula apparently he has it figured out too and he's changing numbers in there the answer to the formula he's changing he said nope it's not two plus two anymore i'm going to need you to figure out what it is i just put in this formula is it two plus ten is it two times ten two minus ten what is it right so she's about to have a hard time someone i'm telling you this woman brings nothing to the table but heartbreak conflict that's all she brings to the table. She literally has nothing to offer. Someone could just be very beautiful and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. And she's going through some type of ending. Maybe getting pulled out of her home. She's losing something. This is something she was possibly trying to set up for some of you that are dealing with this kind of energy in your life. They wanted you to be homeless. They wanted you to be unemployed, impoverished, all kinds of stuff. stuff. But this is why I, I always say it. You have to be careful of the energy you put out there because if you're sending it to someone that does not have ill intent for you, it's coming right back to you. And lo and behold, all of it is coming right, right back to her. She's being seen as someone very karmic. And this is something she's been trying to hide. Someone sees this woman as just really unbalanced. Like they're trying to distance themselves from her. Like someone is working hard, moving silently, quietly to get away from this woman. Okay? He is working like 
quietly. He's moving discreetly, moving in silence, smooth criminal kind of thing. He's not a criminal, but this is how he's moving. She's being hit by a smooth criminal, right? Someone could be not, uh, thinking about how maybe they betray you, the actions they took in the past to betray you when it comes to working with this feminine energy in a group of people behind the scenes. And they are quite heavily disappointed in themselves. They may be going through some type of financial or emotional loss. Maybe they want to meet with you to speak their truth with you in order to maybe have some type of brand, some type of brand new passion in the beginning with you, right? Maybe this is an emperor that took action um, against you in the past and he's trying to correct something. He could be a business owner. He could be someone that's really good at networking. Maybe someone is going through some type of healing. He could be receiving some type of communication about you as well. Uh, maybe someone in here wants to you know, partner up with you as far as getting married and things like that. I will be mindful because you could have a couple of emperors that are interested in you and one of them could be very toxic while the other one is more so about business and things like that. So just be mindful. You may be receiving a receiving communication from one of these emperors or both of them. Just be mindful. One of them does have genuine intent for you um, in, uh, in wanting to help you grow and accelerate they want to communicate with you about something a queen of cups in the reverse did um, when it comes to your maybe your relationship your family try to destroy your family your livelihood your home front and things like that like they want to tell you the truth show you the truth is that hey i wasn't the one who did this i didn't i didn't know that she was doing this something like that i don't even know if it matters to you all but someone definitely wants to communicate with you about a queen of cups in the reverse Someone that is emotionally unavailable, but she knows how to manipulate people as well. She and this uh, queen of wands have something in common. They know how to use what their mama gave them to get what they want, okay? Meanwhile, you are focused on your growth, your acceleration, and you are about to go through some type of growth sprout when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your abundance, your stability, and things like that. You are about to go through a growth sprout while these people are going through some type of ending there's a family here i don't know if this masculine has a family with a queen of cups in the reverse or he's in some type of relationship but it's just not a happy one this relationship is not fulfilling and he may be burdened with the fact that he even chose this person over you and they're going through some type of ending this relationship is done because he's seen this woman for who she is this is a facade walking about so he's seen the truth about her. He does not want to move on with, move forward with her. If they were supposed to get married or something, he does not want to do that anymore. He's putting an end to it. So whatever wedding or something someone was planning may not be going into fruition for some of you. And for some of you, this masculine is possibly going to go through with this wedding because there's a lesson he still needs to learn when it comes to this type of karma the dealing with these types of energy someone has learned there's a feminine energy in here that has learned how to be the ideal woman for a masculine but she's not doing it genuinely because he's financially stable she knows how to be what it is that he wants so she can keep him happy right basically quiet content it's like yeah 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 i'll come home and cook I tell you how wonderful you are. I'll clean the house up as long as I don't have to work, you know, outside of this home. It is what it is. So she has taken on some type of persona and he's buying it for some of you. He's buying it. He said he's out here telling his home his boys about how amazing his woman is, you know, how much of a sweetheart she is. She calls to check on him. She's calling him 10, 20 times a day. And he thinks it's because she cares about him. It's really just to make sure he's not with another woman. No one else is about to secure the bag through him. Like she's the only woman in his life or something like that. Or if he decides to partner up with another woman, she wants to make sure that that woman is just as karmic as he is. So she's not going to give him genuine love. And Man, someone is very low vibrational in this, in this situation here. Someone is very low vibrational in this situation. And she knows that some of you, she may know that this masculine genuinely uh, cares for you and connects with you, but she's going to keep doing whatever she can to block him because she knows that you are an empress. There could have been like a mother figure in this man's life, maybe a sister. I don't know what this is, an ex-wife, whatever this is, that may have been ill advising this masculine in order to keep him trapped with this feminine energy. And for some of you, he fell for it. And I don't think you really care 
you may have walked away from someone and went on with your life um you're kind of wishing them wishing them well they're still stuck on you um uh, even though they've gotten married to someone else the marriage may not be abundant but someone went and got married as soon as you left or as soon as they left you and now they feel trapped i'm telling you they feel trapped in this marriage and they want out but where are they going to go they can't come back to you like the chapter between you and this person is over is done with so if they went and got married real quickly thinking that they were replacing you with a gem with a diamond they're finding out if it was not a diamond it's been cold this whole time um, but I mean, the coal has its purpose. You can use it to burn fire so you can stay warm during the winter time. You can use it to burn fire so you can cook like we do with it in Africa, right? So, I mean, it has its purpose. It may not be for what you want it to be used for, but it has its purpose. But someone is absolutely going through some type of ending. Um, and while she's going through this ending, honey, she's plotting some type of ending for you. It's not coming into fruition. Whoever this is that wants to come towards you, you may not even know this person or you're not well acquainted with them. This person is moving in silence, as I said earlier. That is part of the reason why we have that full of swords coming out at the bottom of the deck. Someone is planning, I'm telling you, someone is planning to move in silence because out of the deeds that someone has been doing behind the scenes, they're out in the open. Someone can no longer hide, okay? The truth is known. Someone does rituals and manipulations and things like that, and all of it is being exposed. Someone is very conniving, pretentious, and things like that. So everything, everything, every action she took behind the scenes, everyone she collaborated with, everything she said about you, character assassination, defamation, right? Invasion of privacy, all kinds of stuff. Someone knows. Someone knows what she's been doing, and she's living in fear and anxiety about this, trying to stay calm. But, honey, it's not going to work. You can try to stay calm all you want. Someone has seen you for who you are, and it's scaring her. I'm telling you, it's scaring this woman because she knows, this man knows that the offer that she's been giving him was not genuine. She was gaslighting him just so that he could secure her in life. He was a he was her, her bag source. You know how those young folks say um, they're securing the bag? Yeah, this is one of them. They secured the bag through masculines, okay? But the truth is revealed about some type of offer that's coming into you. Um, it could be coming from this emperor or another energy, whoever this is. Someone does want to come in and give you an offer. Someone, um, maybe it could be a, a king of cups. I just saw one of those. But someone does want to give you an offer. I, I just always advise caution because it looks like there's some type of story that has been going on for a long time where people have been working really hard to cause difficulties when it comes to two people getting together. And this is why he ended up taking some type of wrong path um, and ending up with a Jesse Bell energy. So I would be mindful, right? Be mindful. Someone does want to give you some type of offer. Um, I don't know if, if it's like someone that wants to spoil you or something like that, or his wish is to connect with you, work with you, be with you, something of that nature. You could be like partnering up with someone that's a little bit more older than you, a little wiser. They may see you as someone that's very naive. You haven't experienced life in its fullest yet, right? So you still have a lot of things to experience in life. And he wants to open you up to new experiences new adventures, right? Work with you because he knows it's going to be very successful and abundant, him working with you. So he may be taking his offer somewhere else, okay? You may have said the truth about something a queen of wands in the reverse has been doing behind the scenes and someone did not know that. They thought that the whole time you were yapping and gapping, you were just trying to cause drama. You didn't know what you were talking about. Someone may have even thought that you had some type of mental illness going on. Um, but they, I think they went and looked into something to see what someone has been doing. Like someone went and investigated. They looked into something only to find out, oh, so this person is not crazy. They know what they're talking about. So that's how they came into knowing that this queen of wands in the reverse has been doing something behind the scenes. You said something about an action this woman took behind the scenes or something she did. Either you did it or you or someone else did it. Someone did say something or you said something that brought clarity into this situation. Now she may want to come into your energy to 
offer you some type of friendship, make it look like she's advocating for you, you you know better than this. If this is someone from your past, you will know because they will come into your energy and you'll feel uncomfortable because you possibly offer this person a friendship in the past and they betray you in some way, shape, or form. Now they're going through some type of karma and the way to handle this, they believe, is to come into your energy and give you some type of facade of a friendship and you two are going to sail onto karma water. I say leave them where they are. Leave them at goodbye. They say hello, you say goodbye. Okay, um, so someone may be seeing you as wish fulfillment. Someone may be very secure in life. Listen, this is coming out in the reverse. It doesn't matter because, honey, it, the story is going to come out anyways. Okay, um, they see you as, as wish fulfillment, right? And spirit may be revealing something to them. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, is having a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, right? Someone is going through some type of ending she just never saw coming while you're going through some type of victory. Maybe you didn't even see coming. So there's some type of abundance that's coming your way that you don't see coming and it's going to be extremely fulfilling. And as you can see, people have been doing stuff to put an end to this connection. They don't want you two coming together, but things are going to happen in the way that it's supposed to happen. Okay, spirit is interfering here to disappoint your enemies. So they will get to sit back and watch you two come together regardless of how long it takes. An uh, emperor is taking charge of his life and making the decisions he needs to make so that he can cut off these karmics, cut off these uh, karmic soul ties and move on with his life. Okay, for a lot of you. And for a lot of you, unfortunately, your emperor is stuck with a karmic for this lifetime and he's going to have to figure that out. He will learn it the hard way at the right time that he's he's with a clown he's with a facade he's with a jizzy bell and he's gonna miss out on that ten of pentacles that he was meant to have with you but rest assured the universe is sending you a new partner that you will get to fulfill this destiny with because that's how it's set up right you have soul companions that are lined up for you so if your soul twin your twin flame does not do i'm telling you your, your twin flame <laughs> if your twin flame does not do right by you they're not loyal to you does not stand their ground and fight for the connection or do what they need to do so that you two can connect right the universe has this set up where you have soul companions that are lined up so if one doesn't work there's another one for you and once you're done healing and recovering from the one that disappointed you you will be connected with the new one so that's kind of how it's set up. You're not missing out on anything. If your emperor refused to heal, don't worry about it, okay? But somebody out here, your emperor is absolutely doing the healing work. He is in this energy, and this is something he possibly did by his own. He's embracing that inner child of his, taking charge of his life, as I mentioned earlier, and moving forward with his life, right? He's laying down the law. You're taking charge of your life as well. I'm telling you, you're both standing your ground. You're both powerful as heck. People may be intimidated by the both of you because of how powerful you are. When you speak, you say what you have to say. People listen and you move on. You're not here to keep explaining yourself. It's like I said what I said. Okay. Listen, folks, I had to say this to my little sister not too long ago. We got into some type of quarreling. And little sister was just trying big sister. Okay, and I just told her, I think she was wanting me to recant something I said. I said, no, I said what I said. I don't miss my words. <laughs> oh, Lord, you all know how the sibling stuff go. You love them. They drive you nuts. <laughs> but you, <laughs> They drive you nuts. <laughs> but if anyone tried to fool with them, what do you do? Okay, you, you take care of business. But honey, my little sister sometimes. Oh, I, I had to tell her, honey, I said what I said. I don't miss my words. Like, you know I don't miss my words. The heck are you playing with me for? But it is what it is. It's all love. I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out someday, okay? But you two are definitely taking charge of your life, moving forward, right? Just doing the healing work. And this is causing conflict with these people because this man wants to give to you. This man wants to bring balance into a situation the, you know, rose tinted glasses they had covering his eyes. He done went and took that sucker up and threw it on the side of the road. It probably even got crushed by some car, some car tire. Like they can't put it back on. The mask they had, they had on, the mask had fallen off. 
they can't put it back on because it just don't make no sense look at this point this man is probably the one ripping the mask off of these people's faces it's a take that sucker off i can see what's back there i already saw what's back there stop it sit down have several seats right probably telling these people oh you got to do time you don't effed up now you got to do time okay so they could be fighting about you receiving an offer that's coming in pretty quickly but the universe is telling you to hush hush about this when you do receive it um this is going to lead to your victory and a lot of opportunities for you this is going to enable you possibly to create a lot of different opportunities or uh, streams of income for yourself and this is what these people don't want they don't want you being independent but your independence is secure here because someone is seeing you for who you are you're business savvy you're a mother figure wife figure like very down to earth very solid around all well-rounded basically right and you're someone that's very independent and your self-sufficiency like myself here is very important to you so you don't like to rely on other people for handouts and for your livelihood you'll figure it out if there's no one there to assist you but even if there are people to assist you you're not particularly going out with your hands and things like that with your hands out to people saying hey give me give me give me you're going to do what you need to do to figure it out um if you i don't i like i have the mindset where like if i see something and i want it and i don't have the money for it i'm not meant to have it at this moment i'm not going out of my way to do anything funny anything interesting to make sure that I get that. I just assume I'm not meant to have it right now. When I'm meant to have it, I will have it, okay? So someone in here struggles with this mindset. They feel like they're supposed to have everything that they see. These are people that over splurge and things like that. Someone in here, a feminine energy is disappointed as well because I think she got with a masculine thinking that he was financially abundant like she was about to have herself a sugar daddy or something like that and it's turning out that this masculine may not have money or he's just not like free with money like that to so these kind of energies maybe he sees right through her and the both of them as you can see they're going through some type of ending right it may have been friends as well for some of you and the both of them are going through some type of ending and this is divine intervention by spirit this is how it was always intended for things to go for the both of them right like spirit was letting them set themselves up like perfectly it's like they thought they were exposing you or doing something to you but it turns out that they're the ones that are going through that ending they said oh this whole time i've been talking about myself i've been setting myself up you have you were under an illusion this whole time thinking you were setting up a star c or a, 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 an empress right you should have known better you should have known better okay so whatever honey whatever these two have been up to is just not going the way they plan i'm telling you you two are still going to come together in divine timing uh-huh and this woman here this queen of wands here she knows that it's still coming into being like she knows whatever it is she's been doing as far as slandering your character trying to cause you ending trying to get someone to see you in a dark way like hey that's a dark witch she casts spells on people he does not see any of that like someone sees you for who they who you are they know that you're very genuine you're healing your ancestors may be interfering with something that's going on here is like they're sitting back and watching this woman take action against you not knowing the whole time she's really taking action against herself and people like these god bless them they're just hateful and broken this is why they don't realize when they're when they're doing something they're really just taking action against themselves and not you right until it's too late so they'll take action against you only to come and find out oh wow i've been act uh you know destroying my own life the whole time and that is because they've been under an illusion a self-imposed illusion that they refuse to let go of someone wanted someone to believe that you were trying to be them when you don't even have any visual of this person meaning you're not even in this person's life you don't know where they are don't have this person's phone number don't even know if they're on social media you may not even know this person's name just to start off so them telling a uh, masculine energy that you are copying them or trying to be them or they are the best option is just really hysterical because you don't possibly know this person or you're not even friends with them maybe you two were never really even friends but they may be out here telling this masculine that they know everything about you 
um they know all your deepest and darkest secrets and things like that and if you're a star c you probably don't even have any deep or dark secrets that you're hiding from and you probably don't even tell people your business right so someone is uh being very creative with the things that you're telling this masculine about you you know everybody's creative like that beautiful sister says on her platform everybody's creative someone in here is very creative with their words manipulation all kinds of stuff someone should have a phd in how manipulative they are because oftentimes the people around them will not find out till it's too late that they are being manipulated by this character at that time honey she done did the damage the damage is done okay the damage is absolutely done right i'm telling you the damage is absolutely done by the time you find out what this person is doing this is one of those people that will be stealing from you little by little little by little by the time you find out you don't go on from having a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account to having five dollars and you're looking around like what in the mother effing h e double hockey stick is going on here i just had a hundred thousand dollars where did my money go i don't spend like that i'm very frugal with my with my money and she'll do it so strategically you won't even know it and you'll look in there and you're asking her honey honey what, what what's going on you're going through a rude awakening she may not even be around by the time you realize you're here okay you 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 know that those romance scammer that's one of them that's one of them romance scammer they'll they'll see that you have a genuine connection with someone and they will interfere with that they don't want you to see your true love as your true love they want you to see them as your true love because they have they stand to gain something from you okay and it seems like this emperor here he has a lot of fulfillment in life when it comes to material things he may just not have real love, and this is what he wants. He wants to have a family. So he has all of his financial needs uh, secure. He's solid in life when it comes to finances. But what he does not have is family, the wife and kids, the home front. He does not have that. So maybe he's been healing behind the scenes so that he can have that with someone, i.e. you collective, exactly right so he's taking a different path in life now he's taking charge taking a different path i'm telling you this man is healing every time i mention him and go through my spread uh -huh, go through my deck this healing car is coming out the star car is coming out someone is healed someone was healed i'm telling you someone is healed behind the scenes like someone has done the work man that's beautiful because i know how hard it is i'm mean, still working on myself like i almost lost my bunkers today I have some situations going on behind the scenes and sometimes honey i just i just want to lose my bunkers just for three seconds but i'm like i gotta hold it together these people are trying to break me they're not going to break me not in this lifetime or any other lifetime okay but yeah <laughs> yes folks i have people behind the scenes trying to destroy me people trying to steal my platform uh destroy my platform if they can't have it they slow down the numbers and things like that. They think like if if they keep slowing it down, then I'm just gonna get fed up and leave it behind or something. I'm just gonna give up and be there. Well, F it then. I'm not doing it anymore. I am 32 years old, honey. Life is what it is, okay? Life is what it is. You're there, I'm here, right? You're there, I'm here. I took time to face my demons, so there ain't nothing you can do to me that's going to make me flip out and be like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be a God-loving energy anymore. Nah, 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 nah. We're solid over here with God. We have our moments of testing and things like that, but honey, we're solid over here with God, okay? Anyways, but this masculine, back to him, back to our reading, uh-huh yes honey <laughs> this man is laying down the law you and him coming together are going to be your justice there's a couple in here as well that was possibly working against you behind the scenes they're going through some type of legal matters because the truth is revealed about what they were doing behind the scenes especially when it comes to you two connecting you connecting with this masculine or this masculine connecting with you there's some type of legalities a couple may be going through behind the scenes um it's absolutely something that's shocking to them because they didn't realize 
that the truth was exposed the whole time, right? They may even be trying to keep this matter discreet. They said, don't talk to anyone about this. This is viewer discretion is advised. Please don't disclose this to anyone, honey. It's about to be out here bold. It's about to be here out here bold, right? This will be the people that will oftentimes pay other energies. I'm telling you, pay other energies behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending and things like that. But it's like with this couple, whoever they are, or whoever this group is, whoever this person is, it's that whatever they've done, they are coming to terms with the fact that it's just not going to work. This is a union that's divinely meant to be. So you two will be connecting. This is your justice. You two will be collaborating together and creating some type of sussex, right? Someone sees you. I don't know who your masculine is as far as the emperor. He sees you. He's interested in you. He knows your work. He knows you're solid. So he's not like out here being, you know, oh, uh -huh, I don't, I'm not sure about this person. That used to be him. He used to be like, um, I don't know about this person. They're a little bit different. They do things a little bit different. I'm not sure if I want to be with them. Someone used to be stuck in their karmic ways, you know, still attached to Jesse Bells and things like that. Someone used to be financially vain, and he's overcoming all of that. That's what matters now. Like the path that he's on is what matters now. Um, as I said, there's a couple in here that could be going through some type of legalities and they're being investigated. They're, they may be going in for in some type of interrogation that they're trying to hide um from people as well and um, there's not much you can hide at this point because everything is out in the open i think i'm getting different perspectives of characters in this uh story but there is absolutely a couple going through some type of investigation some type of interrogation legal matters and they're trying to hide that um you have this person when you and your emperor connect it's going to start off as some type of friendship right this person does sees you as wish fulfillment they do know that they have some type of contract with you they may tell you about something that's been going on behind the scene reveal something to you this person could have been trying to connect with you a while back but there's been a lot of interferences a lot of hindrances and things like that yeah a lot of interferences a lot of illusions going on people saying that you're something you're not just people trying to cloud this person's judgment of you but he's seeing the truth now right He's seeing the truth, the motive behind why they've been doing what it is they've been doing, why they've been coming up against you and things like that. This was a whole collaboration of a group of people that don't even like each other. Listen, of a group of people, this was a whole collaboration. But this collaboration is over because you and this man are still going to be connecting and having a brand new beginning. He's still going to come in to give you an offer. You're still going to be receiving an offer from this man. So I wouldn't worry too much. Things are going to happen in divine timing, but he has made some type of decision to move on with his life, right? And he sees you as fulfillment. He wants to share with you, share life with you. Uh, family is very important to this man, and I don't think people realize that. But family is very important to him, right? And so he may want to come in and tell you that at some point during your friendship, um, when things start to kind of gradually escalate between the two of you, uh, progress, I shouldn't say escalate. When things gradually progress towards, I mean, between the two of you, you will find out that family is something that's very important to this man. You can see how he went from being by himself here to now it's three people in a car. So it's something where it's going to be like family focused, lots of happiness, lots of joy. There could be some type of uh, event going on that someone may want to invite you to. Um, just, I guess, so you can meet someone else there. So I don't know if you're going to have another masculine that's going to invite you to an outing or another feminine energy that's going to invite you to an outing. And this is because there's someone else at that, at that gathering that may want to meet with you, speak with you. I don't know what this has to do with, whether it's to work with you, give you some type of clarity. But some of you are going to be traveling. Listen, it fell out. I saw the... um excuse me i thought i saw the eight of cups out here but some of you may be traveling right um very soon to connect with this person or they could be traveling to connect with you okay but whatever this is when you end up with the person you're meant to be with it's going to be something very abundant and very successful like this is your victory this is something you two deserve 
The road to this destination has been a hard and complicated one, something that was complicated because of other people's involvement, not because of something the both of you did, okay? Uh, and this is due to jealousy. You have a couple of masculines in here, or this could be your emperor taking on these different energies uh, appropriately uh, to make sure that he's doing what he needs to do so that you two can connect. So you're showing up as the queen of pentacles uh, and you're having some type of new beginning in life and it's going to be very successful for you. Uh, you may be receiving some type of opportunity. Whatever this is, it's going to be very abundant and successful for you, okay? Uh, some of you could end up with a king of swords. Some of you with an uh, emperor. Either way, you'll be secure in life, okay? And some of you, just be cautious because you could have a masculine that's coming towards you that has a hard time healing, does not want to do the work to heal. So he, he's having a hard time moving on with life, okay? Someone just maybe want to partner up with you because they know that you are a money maker, okay? All right, let's see what Spirit's advice is to us. Source, what would you like us to know? What is your advice to us today? Okay. There goes my four-year-old boss. I got to hurry up and get up, get off here because I'm, I'm being called back on duty. Okay, <laughs> it's <at> four. <laughs> Okay, so you are you are secure wherever you are in life. There could be something where people want you to feel uneasy and want you to feel like you are in danger or something. You're not in danger of nothing. This is a mental game. This is manipulation. That is the tactic the enemy uses to make you feel uneasy wherever you are because you may be close to some type of victory that's coming towards you really quickly. So they want you to feel uneasy and unsafe so you can take some type of impulsive action to end up interfering or uh, uh, get interfering with some type of blessing that's coming or putting an end to a ten of pentacles that's coming your way. So whatever people are doing behind the scenes or trying to do in your energy, just disregard them. Act like it's not there. Do like get involved in some positive energy like listen to some hearts positive music get some sleep uh go for a walk take a bath do some cleansing bath clean your house do something cook whatever you need to do to stay relaxed do that but whatever they're doing is to get you out of energy is to get you out of balance so you can take some type of impulsive action that's going to turn someone off when they come towards you they're going to see end up seeing you as someone that's very immature and things like that. This is what they're trying to do, okay? So just be, be calm. Stay, stay calm. Relax. Relax. You're going to be okay. Oftentimes, when things start getting like really chaotic and complicated around you, usually that's a sign from the universe that you're about to acquire something very beautiful and abundant in your life and the enemy behind the enemies behind the scenes are now taking action to make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel like you're on the wrong path, but you're not on the wrong path. You are on the right path, okay? We have 23 here, which is five. It says you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. Okay. Four, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock in your hard work and perseverance. Make a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I am stable. Okay. So that lets me know people are trying to interfere with your stability, right? They don't want you to be open-minded. They don't want you to think you're going to be successful or okay in life. You are. Okay. That's, that's just projection. A lot of projection. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.